Hello everybody, Interim Terry back again with another video. A video I want to preview this Miami Open final that we have in front of us tomorrow in this year's second Thousands Masters event between Roger Federer and John Isner, who I think will win and uh, and how the match will progress, in my opinion, what I believe. The first, uh, the year's first uh, Monster 2000 event, uh, Dominic Thiem won that, like we all know, against um, Roger Federer, a, a final that Roger Federer was not too far away of winning, actually. In my opinion, he, he, he should have won, actually, con considering all the chances that Roger had. He had 11 break points and only converted two. But in tennis, like we all know, especially in big matches, like finals, semi-finals and so and so on the player who wins the big points wins the matches as well because in big matches guys it's not many points who, who separate the winner towards the loser they are pretty close to, to each other in the levels and things like that and uh, the player the player who, is, who takes his opportunities the most usually wins it was it, it was this kind of way that uh, Novak Djokovic lost earlier this week against uh, Agut. Rod, uh, Novak Djokovic had a lot of break points against Agut, if I'm not, if I'm not uh, mistaken, but he didn't convert many of them. Many of them. And that was not a very. That was a surprise actually, because Novak Djokovic is usually more effective than what Roger Federer used to be. I think Novak Djokovic in that a good match he converted only three or four break points out of fourteen opportunities, something like that. So that was a, a big reason why he lost that close match. Anyway, I'm not I'm not I'm not doing this video to talk about that match. I'm I'm doing this video to to preview this final, this Miami this Miami, Miami Open final tomorrow. Who I think will uh, uh, win this battle. In that Indian Wells final, two three weeks ago, I I thought uh, Federer would win, but uh, I had uh, upset alert for Dominic Thiem because I said that uh, I would not be surprised if Dominic Thiem would uh, beat Federer because uh, the head to head between uh, Dominic Thiem and Roger Federer back then before that Indian Wells final was two 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 that was even. So you can tell not now it is three two of course to Dominic Team. So you can you can see in that matchup that Dominic Team has a really big shot against uh, Novak against Roger Federer uh, because all that he brings on the court uh, and things like that Dominic Team can def definitely hurt uh, Roger Federer from the baseline. So I was not deadly surprised that Dominic Team defeated Roger Federer in Indian Wells. Absolutely not. But I had Roger Federer as the favorite because, in my opinion, I thought that Roger Federer would be the more consistent one. But it did; it didn't go the way that I thought. Even though Roger Federer should never have lost that final, in my opinion. So in this one, I have Roger Federer as the favorite as well. I cannot go against the super the super maestro in this final. Uh, it is five two to Roger Federer in the head to head. So he's leading the head-to-head -head, uh, matchup pretty convincingly in my opinion it's not deadly convincingly it, it is not that John Isner has never defeated Federer he has defeated him two times I think uh, I think the first time John Isner defeated Roger was in 2012 if, not, if I'm not mistaken in I think in the Davis Cup in Switzerland on clay in 3-1 in a four set, in a four set victory for John Isner, and the second time that uh, John Isner defeated Federer, the last time that that they have faced each other actually, and they have not faced each other since then. It was in 2015 uh, in Paris Masters, in a close three set uh, battle, and both of those sets that John Isner won was in tie breaks. Uh, so and that's what I and that's what and this is John Easton's shot to defeat Federer tomorrow, guys. It is 
in tie breaks because I don't think John Isner will be able to break Federer. Uh, that's my feeling. And if he breaks Federer, then Fed Federer will be, of course, in big, big danger. Because uh, if John Isner breaks your serve, it's almost like you have lost a set. Almost. I'm not saying that John Isner is impossible to, to break, but uh, you are in big danger. Big, big danger if John Isner breaks your serve. So, uh, John Isner's big opportunity to defeat Federer is to hold his serve, which he actually couldn't do that against Felix Aliasim yesterday, uh, a match that Felix Aliasim really should have won, considering that he was serving for the first set and he was serving for the second set, uh, for the second set as well. But Felix Aliasim, he choked, and who can blame me? And who can blame him, considering how young he is? He choked against John Isner, to be quite honest, guys. So, John Isner is in, is in the final anyway, and he's de and he's fa and he's the def defending champion here in Miami, and he can be. He was the last one to win Miami Open last last year in KB Skeen, and he can be the first one to win the Miami Miami Open here in the in the other location because they have changed location, like we all know. And Roger Federer, of course, can be also the first one to win to be the champion in Miami in Miami Open. In this to be the first champion in this new location. So, like I told you, it is five two Trojan Federer in the in the head to head matchup. But the last one, but the last meeting, John Isner won in Paris Masters in three sets. Both of the sets that John Isner won was in tie breaks, and that's the and that's John Isner's opportunity and chance to defeat Roger. It is in tie breaks because John Isner is really a nightmare to face in tie breaks because he has that huge serve in my opinion one of the greatest serve of all time maybe even the greatest serve of all time because if I compare this preview to the preview I did two three weeks ago when Roger Federer uh, faced a team in the Wells final I'm feeling a little more little not much, because you, ne you never can be 100% sure in predicting tennis matches. But I'm feeling a little more comfortable in this to predict Federer as a winner. A uh, little more than, than I did when I uh, predicted Federer as a winner against team. Because against John Isner, Federer's huge challenge is to just returning John Isner's huge serve which is massive. If Federer can somehow block the serves in on play, which he will, of course, try, because I don't think that Roger Federer will have so much time to hit flat shots or something like that, especially not on John Isner's first serves. I absolutely don't believe that. But uh, Roger Federer usually does block good, uh, is a good returner to block this giant servers i've seen that i've seen roger do that against karlovich i've seen that do do it against uh, uh kevin anderson even though kevin anderson is not even near as a good server as karlovich and john isner and i i and i have seen roger do blocking serves against john isner as well in the past but when you have that huge serve that John Isner has, you really can beat anyone guys and he and he really has done that he has beaten i think I don't know. I think he has beaten Djokovic. Uh, I think he has beaten Nadal in some stage, not not very often, but some in some stage of his career. And he, of course, has beaten Federer as well, uh, two times in his career. And we all remember, at least I do, when John Isner took Nadal to a fifth set battle in that 2000, 2011 French Open first round. The only player actually who has done that in French Open. Rafa Nadal has only played one fifth set match in his entire career in French Open and it was against John Isner in that first round match in 2011. And how did John Isner manage to do that? Yeah, it's not a surprise. With his massive serve, of course, because when the rally was on, John Isner didn't have didn't had any chance. But he took two sets from, from Nadal with by serving rockets by serving bombs guys and 
He took Nadal to a fifth set battle, which Nadal in the end won in the decider set 3-2. But what I want to say with that is that with that huge serve that, just, that, that John Isner has, guys, you can hurt anybody, guys, anyone all over the world. And of course, he can defeat Federer as well in tomorrow's final. And would I be surprised if he defeated Federer? No, I will not beat... I would not. I will not be a, a monstrous surprise. But to be quite honest, I would be more surprised than I than what I was surprised when Team defeated Federer in Indian Wells, because Team brings totally different game to the court and what John Isner do. Because Team has a game. He has a great, great solid baseline game. He can hit. He can hit deep, strong shots. He can. He can out grind feather from the baseline he 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 returns pretty far from the court so feather cannot do much aces against team and he and feather cannot hurt team very much with his serve because team is like nadal he almost returns from the fence so john Easter doesn't bring that kind of game to the court uh when he plays tennis and will, i don't think he will do that against feather tomorrow john Easter's John Isner's huge weapon, his biggest weapon, is his, ser is his serve, of course, and his forehand, but mostly his serve. But his forehand is also a weapon. Th this is, these are the two things that John Isner uh, wins his matches with. If we take these two things away, John Isner is not, a, is not even a top 50 player, in my opinion, in the world. So, so Roger Federer's big challenge will be to to try to break John Isner's serve. Felix Aliasim uh, managed to do that twice in yesterday's semifinals. So I think Roger Federer will also break John Isner at least once. Um, at least once or maybe two times in the whole match. Because, uh, like always, uh, uh, Roger Federer's biggest Achilles heel is his returns, in my opinion. But he has been playing really great in this event. Besides the first round when he was struggling, when he lost that first set against Albot. But after that, he, he won that first round in three, in three sets. And then after that match, he has been playing really convincingly. I have not, to be quite honest, I have not seen Roger Feder play this good, this clean tennis with this low unforced errors since 2017, guys. I must say that. Uh, and that's why he is in the final in Miami, in Miami Open. And that's why he's playing so good. And that's why I believe he will win his first Monsters 1000 event in over one year, guys. Since Sh Shanghai 2017. And he has not played this good since, since Shanghai 2017 as well. So he should really win tomorrow. He should really be the winner tomorrow. He should really win his 28th Monsters 1000 event event because I think Roger Federer has 27 if I'm not if I'm not wrong and John Isner's only chance to defeat Federer I believe is in tie breaks if the matches go to tie breaks then Roger Federer is in big danger guys I don't think Roger Federer wants to be in a tie break with John Isner I don't think any anyone in the world wants to be that so uh, I'm I'm not saying that, that I'm not saying that Federer can't beat John Isner in a tie break but I think if they go to a tie break, I give the small edge to John Isner. That's my feeling. So uh, John Isner's chances to defeat Roger Federer in tie breaks, and uh, his uh, and Roger Federer's chance is to defeat John Isner before they go to the tie break, to break him before the before they enter the tie break or something like that. Frederick has looked super great, uh, guys, the, the, this tournament. I'm not like I like I told you before. I have not seen I have not seen Federer looking this great since Shanghai 2017. To be quite honest, the only thing that is not that has not worked amazingly good for Federer, besides in that Medvedev match, is his serve. Is he's he's serving too little first percentage percentage in guys. He served 49 percent against. Uh, uh, Shapovalov uh, yesterday and uh, and Shap Shapovalov didn't do a, his best match of his life to be quite honest guys especially not in that first set he produced 20 unforced errors only in one set and 
and did and did and hardly did get any first serves in play. So Shapovalov didn't challenge Federer whatsoever. So Feder could could come away with serving only 49% first serves in. But I I am doubtful that he will do that against John Isner if he doesn't rise rise up that number and serve 65 or or 70 percent first serves in because i think he will need it so but anyway my feeling is that uh, uh, roger feather will win his 28,000 masters thousand title tomorrow against john isner and his first uh, masters thousand title since shanghai 2017 I'm feeling I'm feeling more comfortable to predict feather as the winner in this match against john isner than i was when I did that against Dominic Thiem. I'm not saying that John Isner can't defeat Roger Federer. He absolutely can. When you have that huge serve, you can defeat everybody, which he has done basically in his career. But I'm feeling that Roger Federer is an overall much better tennis player and he really should win this battle. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this this video and hope you uh, hope you all, all feel, are feeling great. See, see you next time. Bye-bye.